NASA announced a significant delay to its program to return humans to the moon. Yesterday, the agency announced that Artemis II, which will be the first crewed mission of the program, will now launch no earlier than September 2025. That's almost a year delay from its previous date of November 2024. Artemis III, the first scheduled moon landing, which will be at the lunar south pole, is now September 2026. There is currently no change to the schedule for Artemis IV, which is September 2028. Look, delays weren't unexpected, and most people in the industry agree that the schedule for Artemis is very aggressive. A recent report from the GAO or Government Accountability Office stated that NASA likely will not launch Artemis III before 2027, but this delay is still pretty significant. There's a few reasons NASA is doing this. Namely, as was stated multiple times in the briefing, safety is our top priority. Artemis I launched in November 2022, an uncrewed flight, and the agency is still troubleshooting some of the issues from that mission. The Orion capsule's heat shield performed unexpectedly. Basically, there was liberation of the heat shield material that charred away from the spacecraft. Now, this is how it's supposed to work, but there was more than expected that came off. While it appears the crew would not have been affected by this if they had been on board, NASA still wants to understand why the heat shield is behaving unexpectedly. There are also some issues with the launch abort system for the Orion capsule. NASA has determined that there are some deficiencies within that system, specifically in the batteries that need to be worked through before Artemis III. They also need to troubleshoot and replace some of the life support hardware, and that will involve pulling apart and disassembling the capsule. It's going to take time. On top of this, NASA cited the challenges that their industry partners have faced, namely SpaceX's delays with Starship, the HLS, or Human Landing System, that will take astronauts to the moon's surface for Artemis III will be built by SpaceX as a variant of Starship, so the delays on that front aren't helping. All in all, it sounds like this was a good decision for the Artemis program, but it's certainly discouraging to face yet more delays here.